Hey friends, so I'm going to show you how I use Notebook LM to take videos which are pretty dense. So as I mentioned, some of the videos that I use can be up to four hours long. In this example, I'm going to use almost about 20 to 30 minutes. And what I do here is to help with my own kind of learning process and to synthesize insights and then make them applicable in what I'm doing. I'll use Notebook LM to actually help me find some of that information and validate what I'm already doing. So on the screen here, you can already see I'm in Notebook LM. I've created a new notebook and we're going to be looking at AI agents today. So first of all, I'm just going to untick this because this is a different source here, but you can see I've got this YouTube video here. So if I click here, you can see I've got this YouTube video from Anthropic who are the creators of Claude. And it's a really, really great video all talking about AI agents. So before we go further into that, let me go to YouTube and let me show you how I upload this and, and what we can do here. So I'm in YouTube and then what I would do, very simple, I will click share, I will click copy, I will then go over to Notebook LM and then I'll hit add source. And then you can see here our little YouTube bit. So we're just adding that there. We can paste it and insert and we're good to rock and roll. Because I already have that item in there. I don't need to do that for this example. So we've got our video here. And then what you can see immediately is that Notebook NM will already take care of its own summary. It will take care of its own key topics. So if you don't want to do the rest of the stuff that I talk about today, you don't have to, and you can just use what's here. But what I really recommend you do in the transcript down here as well is merge your own human ingenuity into this process. So what I mean by that is that we've got this source here and then we can use all of these capabilities on the right hand side of my screen here to look at study guides, briefing docs, FAQs, et cetera, et cetera. But what I really like to do is I'll watch the videos beforehand because I am sad and I will watch four hour videos and then I'll make my own notes based on points of interest, based on insights that I like and things that I want to explore further. So what I'm gonna do here to begin with is just drop in some notes that I've had on this video. So this is really simple. I haven't got any fancy prompts, so I'm just gonna copy and paste. And uh, basically what you can see here is that I have said that I wanna explore some themes in this video in more detail. And I've said to Notebook LM, um, you know, these are the things that I found interesting. So first things first, I'm just gonna put some delimiters in here for bullet points. Now this can be very beneficial just to help large language models see the structure of your text. Don't have to do it, it's just something I do and I find very helpful. So look here, what I've basically said is that this is what I found for my human review and watching it. And these are the things that I would quite like to go into a bit more detail on. So we are going to talk to Notebook LM uh, about these in particular. And then what I'm also going to say is, you know, what have I missed that can be beneficial to me as a beginner with generative AI tech in particular in understanding AI agents. I think I did that about any spinner mistakes. My God, that must be the first time. So let's put that in and then we'll see what comes back here. And this is really for me the next important point of what we do. And one of the reasons why I really enjoy using Notebook LM. So it's gone through the video. I mean, this is pretty heavy, so we can clean this up if need be. And what we can see here, if we just kind of browse through, it builds upon my points, pulls out parts of the transcript, which is fantastic. It gives me some more information about evolutions from work first to agents, which I really like. The importance of putting yourself in the model shoes. I really like that as well. If you've seen the video, you will know what it's talking about. So quite like this, what I then want to do, and the really important bit here, is to save this as a note. So what that then allows me to do is I save this as a note, and then what I can do, if I move my lovely video out of the way is, if I go to the right hand side of my screen, I can click on this new note and then I can basically say, okay, so let's make sure I saved it first. Oh, it has saved it, fantastic. So what we will do is, is click on the note, or well, obviously not, because that's changed now. Ah, lovely. So we click into the note, should I say. 
And then you can see here it says save responses are view only, which is fine. So we've got that. But what we want to do is convert that to a source. So what is really helpful with this is that if we convert this to a source, we can then use this as part of our conversation going forward. So I'm going to convert that to a source. And then what you'll see is happening here is that that note is now a source from this video, which is fantastic. And that brings me to the next part of our process, which is then using that human review, which you have done part of the AI review, and then looking at how can we apply this? How can we make this more outcome based? So what I'm going to do for that is I'm going to refresh this chat. And I'm just going to clear that and it goes back to standard again. And then what we can see here is I've now got the source from the answer beforehand, which is great. And I've still got the video there as well to back up with the original source material. But the reason why having this as a, a source is very beneficial now from the output is that you've already done some of the work in terms of synthesizing, as I say, your own thoughts and the thoughts of AI. And now you're combining those together. So what I'm going to do now is go in here and I basically just say this, so I'll bring this down here. So I've gone on to say, I'm a learning strategist and I work with companies to do blah, 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 as you can see on the screen here. And what I am looking to achieve is to create a mid-length compelling summary of what a beginner needs to know about AI agents using the sources that we've now got attached. And again, I've been very contextual on what I'm looking for. So think of this as a, like a Reddit post, less than 500 words rather than a full briefing. And I, I don't want Notebook LM to write this for me. It's not going to, it's not going to do it very well, even if I asked it to. What I'm asking it to do is use the sources that it's got, including the note that we've converted to a source to give me a defined list of information that I can think about using for my audience on this topic. So let's stop there and break that down a little bit and talk about why this is useful. Because what I'm now doing with these sources and the video is contextualizing this to my work and what I am trying to achieve. So the first thing you can see here is that I've spoken about what I do and what my aim is in this sentence here. So it's got that context. And then second, I'm then saying, this is the goal that I'm working on here. And this is where I want help. And then again, we give some additional context and then we're really clear on the task here. So we'll ask Notebook LM to do that. And, and then we'll see what we get back. What I anticipate is that it's going to be pretty messy. <laughs> it's going to be lots there, as we can see here. So it's taken what I said. Obviously, always I always like to repeat back, which is good. And then we've got a number of components here. You know, what is an AI agent? How do we get here? What does this look like in practice? think like the AI, small wins. This is a bit bigger than I would expect it to be, but I can work with that, I can meld that. And I'd probably do that in another tool and also using my own human brain because you know this thing still works and that's what we're using it for. So I could take that away and I could craft that in what I wanted it to be into that kind of less than 500 word post that I would share with a team or other people. And the beautiful thing here as well is that then we can then jump into the sources. So you can see here, all these kind of citations allows us to kind of jump back into and say, okay, you know, where are these sources? We've got the transcript. We've also got the original video that's based in there as well. And the source is connected to here too. So we want to validate any of that. We can do that. Now, a little bit long-winded, my friends, but this again is really the intersection or potentially the pinnacle, some people might say, in terms of where do we use our human ingenuity and critical thinking and bring AI into that process to enhance what we're doing. So we've taken that video, we've done a human review, we've noted down lots of stuff, and then we've put that into Notebook LM to then help us synthesize more information, confirm what we've taken from the video, and then look at how can we share that with others to make it more applicable. Now, of course, you can use this in other ways too. So you could use this in the fact that if you're super lazy and you don't want to watch a four hour video, yeah, you could drop it in there and you can get an AI overview. But what you want to do is spend time given your context and given your goals. So tools like Notebook LM are really clear on how, how can it adapt and make it specific for you in what you're looking for. Anyone can drop in a four hour video and say, summarize this video for me. But what are you looking for? What's your context? What's your goals? What are you looking to achieve with that? And this is the beauty that we keep talking about with generative AI and especially tools like Notebook LM and many others that are available that allow you to bring the context to that 
and help you in specifically what you're doing because many people could have a different angle from a developer, from someone in marketing, from someone in product on this information here. So look, I've gone on. I hope this is helpful. This is just one of the strategies that I use to keep my human skills intact, but also take advantage of the great technological revolution that we have in generative AI. Any questions, talk them in the comments or where you find this video, and I will speak to you in the next one. Ciao.